Hey guys, CDJ here, playing Madden NFL 17. Gonna do first draft champions of the year. Let's see what kind of team I can put together my first time. Maybe see if I can even get that trophy for getting A2 overall squad. Controlling it all. Choose a coach who will execute the game plan. Draft a roster of some of the premier NFL stars of today, and possibly even yesterday. Ah, a great pick here. Take them to the field, where you'll put it all on the line. Charles is free. Nothing but daylight ahead of him. He's going to take this all the way. Your strategy, your draft, your championship. This is Draft Champions. After a video like that, you really don't want to fail, so I'm hoping I get some good picks here. First time menu. We will do a solo draft. I'm just going to play this offline. But let's see what kind of team we can put together. Okay, 15 round draft. Let's see what we get. First things first, you'll need to select your head coach. Bearing in mind that you'll also be utilizing the playbook that he favors in the NFL. Uh, for me, I like to run a 4-3 defense, so picking a coach seems pretty easy. Just go with the one that has the defense I want. I can always, in my opinion, change the offense to what I want or make it fit with the scheme I have or what I want to do. So we'll go with Mike Zimmer as our head coach. All right, let's start with the Legends right away. This is... Elway, Nitsky, and Bailey. In my opinion, there's enough rounds and enough linebackers and cornerbacks that maybe I should take a top quarterback while I have the chance. You never know what may or may not uh, come down the pipe later on. We have a middle linebacker, a defensive tackle, and a cornerback. Spots that there's generally enough of these. I think, hopefully, will appear later on that I don't think there's going to be a really bad pick here. Look at some of these ratings. Let's go middle linebacker. I think there's a bad pick there. None are great, but all pretty solid. Oh, a tough decision on their hands now. A couple Chiefs on the board. Early on, it's one you can't afford to get wrong. We already have a pretty good quarterback. He's not gonna, that's not going to provide much depth. Wide receiver, we definitely need need someone there right now. At tight end, this would also be a pretty big upgrade. Uh, let's go Graham at tight end at that height. I think I'm going to stick with that. I think that'll help. At least give me some kind of threat. I said we didn't know earlier. We got that 91 Elway, so I don't think we need the 85 Luck, even though it's tempting. 83 Sanders. So we just took a tight end, so I think this one by default, Emmanuel Sanders, the best pick in this spot. Still some big holes remaining to be filled. Here's where you may have to go after a lower rated player just to make sure you get coverage in all areas. Okay, two safeties and a left end. Stuff, they're all relatively equal, it looks like, in terms of ratings. Free safety, we don't have anybody. Strong safety, we haven't taken a pick. And of course, left end, not a pick. Whatever we do here, I don't think any of them are going to be bad picks. We probably need the secondary help. Looking at his coverage 78 and 88, 71 and 82. I think Cersei is the best pick here. We already have a quarterback, so this would be a depth pick if we took Teddy. Bring more. Let's see, we got the strong safety. We don't have a free safety. His man coverage is pretty weak. Zone coverage is solid. Tight end, we're already taking Graham at this spot. Really don't need another tight end unless we go a lot of two tight end sets. It 
it's tough. 75 isn't that great. Uh, Parmy says, get this, get the take the free safety so we have the back end set. Uh, but I'm going to hope that we can do better at that spot actually later on in the draft. Let's go the, a little bold here, but let's get a two tight end set. Here's a free safety. I knew we'd get more, but I was hoping it'd be better than the one we passed on. Wilcox is even worse in man covers than we had previously as an option. Crabtree. We need a number two wide receiver. I've always felt he's pretty solid in this game. Being a Raiders fan, of using him, he's he's better than you might expect. I feel in the game. Of course, we need linemen as well. We aren't going to have much of an offensive attack if the line is not through. We have nothing there. Uh, this is tough. I think it's between Crabtree and Vollmer. Uh, oh boy, that run block 84, looks more here, impact blocking 87, uh, let's go with the, the lineman here, let's get that started so we can at least have somewhere to run the ball hopefully on that right side. And these guys are going to get themselves a great play here, whether it's A, B, or C. Okay, middle linebacker, we've already taken a player at that spot. Rouse head linebacker, we have not, and defensive tackle, we have not. So we have some tough, tough here. Interesting, seeing the finesse move 50, power move 77. So he'll run through you, but he's not going to go around you. Rouse head linebacker, Clowney. I think I'm going to go with the big guy here. I think he's got enough attributes to be an impact player, make some big plays, hopefully on defense. Not a huge upgrade over what they had already, but they're certainly building up some depth there. Okay, left outside linebacker, strong safety, and right end. I'm going to rule out the strong safety. We've already taken one. Do we improve our linebacker core? Or do we work on that D line? Both lines right now kind of hurting. Uh, no defensive lineman taken, only one offensive lineman. It's really tempting to take Irvin, but I think I'm going to go with Bailey here. Uh, just got to get... Of course, you look at those ratings, not spectacular, but we've got to get somebody better on that defensive line. We're getting late in the draft, round nine. Uh, let's take a chance and hope we get some more offensive linemen and maybe another linebacker down the line. Okay, strong safety. This is about we were taking a player, so I think we can overlook Williams. Baldwin would be a good wide receiver to be probably the new number one. This is where kind of some bad luck. It'd be really nice if there's been any other lineman uh, or any other spot, I should say. Uh, I hate to turn down a good lineman like that, but already have a right tackle. Let's move somebody to a different position. Let's go with Baldwin, get another playmaker that gives us two strong wideouts between Baldwin and Sanders. Let's go with the 85 Baldwin. We're going to need some luck in these last five rounds. Where to now? Do you get yourself a big group for the trenches or someone who can really help you out at a playmaker type spot? Left end, not much depth there. Right outside linebacker, we were taking clownies. I think we can pass on Peppers, even though he's a good player. Right end, we took Bailey last round. See, we, I guess we could have, or previous round, we could have maybe waited, but we didn't know what was coming. Uh, it's tough here. Since we haven't taken a left end, I think it's it's pretty easy. Easy pick here, William Hayes. Options here on both sides of the football. It's pretty much of a coin flip, if you ask me. Okay, free safety. We definitely could use a little bit of help. Strong safety, uh, not a huge improvement, at least in terms of overall. Center, we do not have a center. This is a tough one. I'd like the free safety a lot, like, like Eric Weddle, but we need a, we need more linemen. We've only taken one so far, and there's only four rounds to go. I think this is an easy call. We've got to take the offensive lineman, John Sullivan. Here, some interesting options either way. 
Okay, Derek Carr, quarterback. I don't think we need the depth, even though I do like him. We have strong safety, Kenny Vaccaro here. We've already taken a strong safety, so I think we can pass on him. That gives us the right guard here. We have not taken one. That'll strengthen up the right side of that offensive line if we take him. So I think, again, an easy and pick here. That pick comes to the surprise of no one. You had to figure they'd be that way if a player from that team became available. Lots of red on the screen. I'd like to see this. Uh, that's a... Uh, boy. I think maybe I don't even need to look ahead after seeing that card, but that, I really like the Honey Badger there. Right outside linebacker, we already got Clowney. Uh, even though this would be another step up. I hate to bury good players to death and leave another spot weak. Defensive tackle, we haven't taken one, so this is this is very difficult. Um, that inside the defensive line, kind of weak. No offense to Jared or Ellis. But it's tough. I don't know if you pass on a, a playmaker like the Honey Badger when you have a chance. But if I can't get pressure or stop the run, it's really not going to matter who's in that secondary. This is a tough one. Power move 91, finesse 81. Wow, that is... That is very tough. As much as I love the Honey Badger and what he can do in this game, uh, I think based on what we have for draft so far, we're going to have to take Juan short. What to do here? Build up the interior of your line or get that skilled player to add another weapon? Well, I think you answered for me that inside of that defensive line, uh, we got it last round. Quarterback, Palmer would be nothing more than a backup at wide receiver. Aiken would be cone number one in terms of overall. I think I'm going to pick the defensive tackle. I, I'm a little concerned about that. I wish I could have gotten maybe a, a safety, but this will strengthen the inside of that defensive line, and that's pretty important in any football game, especially Madden 17. So those will go here and see how that leaves our team. After the draft's complete, check out the draft summary screen. This will give you a rundown of your new squad and an overview of how they all fit together. So our team finishes up at 79 overall. It did not get the 82 overall for the trophy. You really need a lot of luck and the cards available to get that 82. 77 defense, 79 offense. That's not bad at all. Let me know what you think of the draft. Are there any picks I whiffed on? Should I have taken someone else? Did I have some good luck, bad luck? And let me know how your draft champion squads have shaken out. Have you had a team with an 82 overall? What's the highest you've seen so far? Everyone, thanks for watching. I appreciate your feedback. And with that, you've just wrapped up putting together your very first draft champion squad. From here, you can modify your lineup if you'd like, or if you're ready to go, feel free to jump right into game number one.